a long dormant or almost forgotten scam has again come to haunt the LDF government, certain bureaucrats and perhaps the chief minister and his family members in Kerala. I am Casey Ashok for Kaumudi Global and what I am talking about is politically stormy UAE consulate diplomatic baggage gold smuggling case. It is again in the news after a lull of nearly three years. It was on July 5th, 2020, 30 kilograms of 24 karat gold worth rupees 14.82 crores was seized by Central Board of Indirect, Indirect Taxes and Customs at Tiruvannathapuram Airport from a diplomatic bag that was meant to be delivered to the UAE Consulate in Tiruvannathapuram. M. Shivachanga, the Principal Secretary to Kerala Chief Minister Pindrai Vijayan, was suspended and removed from the post after preliminary inquiry confirmed that he had links with Swapna Suresh, one of the accused in the National Investigation Agency probe. Subsequently, he was arrested in October 2021 by Enforcement Directorate. In February 2021, Shivachanga was granted bail by Economics Offences Court after being jailed for over 90 days. After gathering more evidence, the Enforcement Directorates uh, arrested M. Shivachanga again on this Wednesday, February 15th, on life mission kickback related money laundering charges. Soon after Shivachanga's arrest, Swapna Suresh again came out with the allegation that Kerala's Chief Minister Pindrai Vijayan, his wife Kamala, and daughter Veena tried to sell off Kerala. Swapna said Shivachanga was arrested based on the evidence she submitted. She claims ED is on the right track, but added that the agency should also question CM Ravindran, a member of the CM's personal staff, to get more details. All the big fish involved in the case will be caught. CM's confidential private secretary, CM Ravindran, should also be questioned. Even if I get jailed or killed, I want the truth to come out and people should know how we were being made scapegoats, Swapna said. Shivashankar's arrest has gifted the Congress and Bharatiya Janata Party a chance to drum up past accusations against the previous Pindrai Vijayan government. It has also armed the opposition parties to strike at the ruling front ahead of the CPM's Kasargod Tiruvanthapuram Roadshow led by party's State Secretary M.V. Govindan beginning February 20th. Leader of the opposition V.D. Sadishan and Bharatiya Janata Party State President K. Surendran uh, separately said Shiva Shankar's arrest was just the tip of the iceberg and that more skeletons would tumble out of the government's cupboard. The Congress asked the CM to come clean on the charge while BJP demanded his resignation. On the other hand, the LDF appears confident that it had defeated the anti-LDF campaign in the name of gold smuggling scam in the 2021 Assembly elections to assume power and history would repeat again in the next assembly election. Notably, Communist Party of India State, uh, State Secretary Kanam Rajendran downplayed the likelihood that the arrest would have political ramifications. Now, some questions that pop up in the mind of the public is, will the CM and his family members get trapped? Will probe extend to the CM and his family members? where Swapna and other accused, including Shivashanga, made scapegoats, and finally, his CM, who is not a politician who mince words, trying to save his clique or kin.